Okay, Blair, so nice to have you back. You must be delighted to be back in the Yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, it's great to be back with the boys. You know, obviously, when you're injured, you're just with the physio uh, more often than not. Um, so, yeah, it's good to have a good get back into the swing of things and get back into training and be out on the pitch. I think that's the main, main objective, definitely. So, as it turned out, you played 45 minutes. How do you feel after that first game and how long it's been? Yeah, obviously it's been 12 weeks plus kind of thing. Um, you've all, almost got to ease your way back into things. Um, you can't expect yourself to be getting up full tilt like you probably would have. Um, main thing obviously is for fitness and to make sure that the injury is the injury's good. Um, in terms of my knee and my leg strength, it feels, feels good. So um, that's obviously a positive. Uh, the result wasn't the best of course, but from a personal perspective, it was good to get 45 minutes out the, in the tank, as you would say, and just to move onwards and upwards. It seemed like quite, well, obviously it's been a long time, it mm. was quick from when you started coming out onto the pitch mm. to then playing almost within a couple of weeks. Yeah, to be fair, I can't give enough credit to the, the medical staff here. Um, they've done really well from getting me the operation to all the rehab and recovery that I've had to do with them. I've been doing double sessions with them and working really hard, so um, almost that was the tail end of things when I was out on the pitch and uh, the main thing was that there was no real swelling after doing all the things we were doing and um, Smudge was saying that more often than not it's about doing what you can do than what you can't so trying to push it to as much as you can do and then if there's no reaction then you can hopefully move on from there so um, yeah I can only really give enough credit to them. I was doing a bit um, extra stuff with uh, one of the sports scientists that I had at uh, West Ham um, which helped me a lot as well so I think collectively it was, um, it, was, it was a good thing and it's helped me a lot. How much input do Smudge and Beth or did they have almost a day-to-day -day basis and how much was it you know you yourself got going through this yeah well um obviously you're not you're not on the pitch so you're with them more often than not um so they put together some programs for me to do um when my days off try to just like have a schedule so we could uh work week to week kind of thing on a on a, on a week to week basis and um to be fair it worked really well um we tried to up every single week we tried to clear things off and tick things off the list and then um, something that obviously away from here when I, was, when I was on my days off or other specific work that I would try to do is when I would go over um, to do my extra little bits but um, Smudge put together a programme for me which, which went really well and um, helped me quite a lot so I can only, like, like I said, I can only give enough credit to them really. If you think back to when it happened, that mm -hmm. fateful weekly game, uh, did you know it was a bad one straight away or was it sort of a, it seemed to, from our perspective, it seemed you were out for four weeks and mm -hmm. then it was enough you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gradually. Yeah, of course. I think um, as a player, you know, kind of when you're not right. Um, I'm lucky enough to not really never had an operation before, never really had a bad injury, as as you'd say. So, I think I kind of knew in myself that it was it was bad. Um, I didn't know how bad, um, but it's one of them things when it happens at the time, you're just hoping that a week or next couple of days it will it, will, uh, it won't swell up as much. It didn't really swell up, which helped. But um, I think just from peace of mind perspective it was good that we got the scan straight away so we could just know that uh, like what, what was wrong kind of thing and um, from there you just got to get your head around it you know what I mean you're going to be injured um, and you just got to move on really that's it's football at the end of the day you're going to get injuries you're going to get knockbacks you're going to get setbacks so it's just about how you overcome and come back from it. As you say there as in your first bad injury I think was it hard from a mental perspective not having that routine and not being able to play or train? Yeah, of course. I think I'm, I'm a type of player that I don't, I never miss training or anything like that. Of course, I might have some niggles or whatnot, but I like to be out on the pitch. I like to be training. So it's very tough mentally not to be out on the pitch. But then it's, like I said, it's one of the things that's football at the end of the day. And it's something that you've got to overcome. And um, it's all about how you come back from every setback that you have. So I think that's just what I probably gave myself some targets, two, three weeks targets where I will try to hit and just try to um, build it up from there and up the speed and um, it's, 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 it's proved evidence, yeah. So you've been kept busy with birth of your little one recently? Yeah, yeah, so I've had a little one, a uh, little girl, um, that was something that you say is almost a blessing in disguise because sometimes if I was training I wouldn't be around as much or I'd be sleeping at night when she's keeping me up. But um, no, it's been, it's, it's been great and I think at the end of the day these are things that you put into perspective. Um, like I said, you take, you take a lot of things for granted sometimes when you're playing just little things just from training and just running around normally as to being on, in a knee brace where you can't run or you can't walk and you can't go up and down the stairs kind of thing. So it's one of the things, you know, I mean, you just have a perspective on life and you just take things, um, you know, you're just more grateful 
I would say definitely. So since you last played, there's been a, a lot of change, a lot of turnover. What's your impressions of how the last few months have been, I suppose? Yeah, well, you know, the league doesn't lie. We know we're in a, we're, we're in a dogfight kind of thing. Um, and more often than not, you know, at these at these times in the in the season, this is when it's the business end of the season. So you know that results are the most important thing. I think I've, obviously I've seen all the games and whatnot. I don't think we've been playing that badly, but we've been losing games, and the scoreline at the end of the game is what people look at. So something that we've now got to um, we've got to pick up and we've got to assess, and something that we've got to really um, just draw confidence from and try to bring it out of bring it out of one another. I obviously a massive uphill battle, but not. No better place to do it than on live TV starting tomorrow. Well, of course, you know, it's, you know, mountains are there to be climbed, as you'd say. So at the end of the day, people can write us off, but at the end, we we've got to have faith between us, between the people in our dressing room, and to know that we can we can try and put some uh, get. You know, we need we need to get a bit of momentum together with some results. Hopefully, um, us doing that starting on Saturday, and we can really build off that and just get some confidence from that. Yeah.